All right, everyone, here we go with April 2024. Hopefully you read my write-up. I wrote it at sltblog.com. I suggest you do. It's an important month. I suggest you read it again after my explanation here, but hey, you do whatever you want. It's an all signs reading. Doesn't matter what your sign is. It's straight up energy reading. Let's talk about April 2024. All right. I got a pre-shuffle here. You got a goat with its feet on fire, the devil staring at you here, but it's okay. It's crossed by the hermit. Okay. I'm just going to show you that before we get started. We're going to talk about April. We're going to talk about my write-up a little bit. At the end, I talked about the astrology of the eclipses and all that. But in a nutshell, things are changing, okay? Whether we like it or not, it, it, the energy is changing. We've got some kind of timeline jump. It's the only way I can describe it that's going on. Things might feel different. You might view things differently. It's an energy that provides a great deal of clarity, all right? I did a bunch of, uh, a couple of paragraphs in that write-up, and I talked about a couple of things. And just in case anybody missed my point, my point is it's a month that provides a lot of clarity where you don't have to question everything, okay? We do that all the time. We question things. We, we uh, fall prey, especially on the DM side of this soulmate cycle, they fall prey to seeds of doubt quite a bit. We see it in societal energies too, but in, in the soulmate cycle, the seeds of doubt, oh, you, you know, you got, we all fall prey to it. We all have people around us, friends, family, whatever, they plant without realizing it. They plant little seeds of doubt and then we kind of question things quite a bit. This is an energy in April put simply of, if it walks like a duck and quacks like a duck, it's a duck. Or that old slogan or saying from, I think it was Maya Angelou, right? Um, if somebody, if somebody, when somebody shows you who they are, believe them the first time, right? So how that pertains to the soulmate cycle is they're not questioning it anymore. It's very clear that it's important. It's very clear. And there's a lot. I'll show you in the pre-shuffle. There's a good chance for some uh, spontaneous things to happen. All right, let's talk about it. It's a general reading. It may or may not resonate with you, but if the title brought you in here or you found sleep, love, terror, you're here for a reason, this reading is timeless. You're all moving at different speeds on your timeline, all right? Now, keep in mind, I can't predict free will. Nobody can. But I talk about the energy quite a bit to you guys. And I give you guys a lot of tips. In that write-up, I give you a tip about learning psychology. Everybody should learn it. Otherwise, you fall victim to it, right? It gets used on you all the time without, without you realizing it. And here we go. And it's usually based in this. Doubt, fear, things like that. It's crossed by the hermit. It's, you're not, it's, it's, there's no questioning it. You know when this energy is there. You just have an inner knowing, right? And you're going to follow your bliss in this energy. I'm going to use that word, bliss. People tend to overcomplicate things. In the, in the energy that we've been in, in, on the previous timeline, we'll call it, there was a lot of overcomplicating going on. And I talked about that in my write-up too. People like to overcomplicate things. They do it for their ego. There it is right there, ego, right? Um, there's not a lot of that here. You know, that old ancient philosophy of you are, you are this, you are that, that is that, all that is that, and that's all there is, or however I, I wrote it out better. But whatever, it, it's not complicated. You know, if it walks like a duck, quacks like a duck, it's a fucking duck. And right here, there's your brave, impulsive action. There's one ingredient that this energy in this new timeline has that hasn't really been there much before. It's the bravery aspect of the Knight of Wands. That brave action to just, if it feels right, it is right kind of a thing. I'm not going to question it. I'm not going to let other people put doubt in my head. I'm just going to go for it. And that's the energies that are coming towards you. All right? Someone who's just taking a chance, re realizes very clearly how important you might be or a connection with you might be, and just goes for it. You will do that in your life too. Okay? It's that kind of energy. That's why I say change is happening whether you like it or not. We jump the timeline. You don't control that. So flow with the energy. You will, you will make leaps and bounds in your life if you do. This is definitely a fortune favors the brave energy for sure. Now I'm shuffling the deck here. The first card out is before the cut. That's why the fuck are we here? So we should see. Uh, definitely, again, please read my write-up. In the April in, in, for April 2024. Very important. It'll help you with the monthly readings. I'm going to start the Zodiac fly through probably tomorrow. This reading will have an extended because it's the only one that's going to for the monthly readings. It's an important energy here. When we jump a timeline, that's important. And as I said in my write-up, for the foreseeable future, there's no big jumps. This is the one we're in. 
Ride with it, though. Amazing growth can happen. Absolutely amazing. So why the fuck are we here? Hmm? The Five of Cups. Um, where it pertains to the incoming energy, it's an energy of someone who realizes where they've let themselves down, where they've let others influence them. Okay? There's always some shame attached to that when that happens, where we don't go our own way. There's always some shame attached to it. But because there's that bravery in the energy, there's that, there's that bravery there to actually change course. Right? Change horses midstream, if you will. Okay. Ha, you like that? What comes after the cut? I pulled that right out of my ass. Ah, uh, the Queen of Swords. You know, cold hard truths. Cold hard truths of where we've let others influence us by planting seeds of doubt. That's the main energy. It causes us to question things too much. Right? When someone shows you who they are, or a connection shows you what it is, believe it the first time. And that's not what the DM side did in this soulmate cycle. They didn't believe it. They ran from it. They don't want, oh, I don't want that. It's going to change my life too much. Oh, it can't be that important. Oh, whatever. Yeah, then why are they still thinking about it? Because they all are. They all keep showing up. New, Even newer soulmates, we were holding on the feelings for you. Okay? So, it's nice. All right? If it walks like a duck, quacks like a duck, it's a duck. Remember that. Try not to question things too much. In fact, the energy itself the environmental energy on this new timeline will prevent a lot of the questioning. All right. So let's shuffle the deck. Let's see where we go here. Yep. Very, very important energy. It is what it is. People fall for psychology all the time. I use the example of the people with those giant microphones on YouTube, right? They got the big microphone. It's like a $1,500 condenser mic. It's huge. And then they've got the, the big stand, the titanium stand that holds it. I mean, they spent like three grand on that setup. All to what? All to make it look like, to people that aren't paying attention and don't know psychology, make it look like they know what they're talking about. Make it look like what they're saying is important. That's why they do it. That's what it's there for. There's no need for it. It's nonsense. It really is. You could do a YouTube channel and talk all you want on a $2.50 microphone. Pinned to your lapel. Okay? You don't need to hold it. That's the other thing people do is they hold the, the pin-up mic. That cracks me up. I thought, why the fuck are you doing it? You look stupid. Stop it. It's ridiculous. It's like a little pacifier or something. they all turning into Huell Hauser. If you're not from California, you probably don't know who Huell Hauser is. Huell refused. He was like a guy who went around to California places and talked about the scenery and stuff like that. He always held a big old-fashioned microphone and all of it. He never went for a lapel mic. It's funny how YouTube's all turning into Huell Hauser. <laughs> he got a cameo on The Simpsons once. I thought that was nice. All right. He a California icon. He passed some time ago. Sad. Very sad. All right, overall energy of everything that's going to fall on the table here. It's about substance, right? It's about substance. What are they saying? Don't pay attention to the microphone. Listen to the shit that's coming out of their mouths, right? What are they influencing, right? Here we go. Uh, the Ace of Swords. Truth. Archangel Michael's Sword of Truth. Fueled by what? The Four of Cups, right? Seeing how we've been let down. How we have let psychology, if you will, influence us. How seeds of doubt have influenced. The, as how this pertains to the incoming energy is all of the DMs in this cycle have been influenced either by their past, what they've been taught, what people are saying around them. Maybe they got friends that don't want them to leave somebody and go toward you, for example. Who knows? But it's a whole lot of go your own way here. It's about people acting on their own truth for once, right? All right, here we go. Readings on the flip, right here on top. Here's the energy around your connection in this new energy here that's coming in and culminating here in April. Uh, here's how anyone attached to you, anyone, anyone at all, could be a lot of people are behaving in the 3D in real life. Here's their soul energy, here's the hidden energy, message from the universe, red with the energy of connection, right here's the potential final outcome. I say potential because I can't predict free will, nobody can. I will clarify everything and throw some universe cards at the end. And yeah, there's a link for an extended in the description. I wouldn't miss it. I think it's going to be interesting. Let's go. Energy around your connection. Five of Pentacles. You picking up a theme? Sad horse before the cut. Sad rose here. Same thing. Somebody, 
Somebody, it's very clear. There's a lot of clarity in this energy. It's clear how we've been let down by energies around us, by stay, staying, by listening too much to other outside influences. That devil, right? That that mild devil energy. And somebody here feels left out. You've got an energy in this connection that is realizing its value on a very high level, right? This connection showed them what it was, or their feelings for you showed them what it what they were at the very beginning, and they didn't believe it, and they questioned it too much, and now that's why we're in this mess, right? Questioning it too much. You think about the, you think about something too long, you'll find too many reasons not to do it, even if it's a great thing. All right, let's go. 3D energy around whoever's attached to you. Page of Swords. Yeah, somebody feels stupid. Somebody feels small. Somebody is getting a... It's a spying energy, but it's self-spying. It's somebody actually stepping outside themselves for a moment and taking a good, hard look at themselves. Okay? And what they see is that they thought they were a great horned owl, like the King of Swords in this deck. They see that they are a barn owl. Okay? It's sort of like you come back to life as an owl. Right? You've been flying around and flying around, then you fly in front of a mirror one time and you realize, oh shit, I'm a little screech owl. I thought I was one of the bigger ones. Right? It's like that. Self spying going on here. Here's their soul. It bookends the Five of Pentacles, your, your soul connection. Justice. Yeah. A lot of clarity. Proof of what I said about the clarity. Right? Aware of the connection knows what it means. On your side, you'll know what, how, what things mean too. You'll get it. And I think you guys, I think the DF side will handle this energy just fine. I think you'll move forward. I don't think you'll question things. Like I said, the energy itself almost prevents it, right? Um, justice in the soul, very interesting here. I'm going to want to clarify that. I'm going to anyway, but whew, I might do the reading a little bit out of order. I might clarify that first before I open my big mouth and say what I want to say here. But I do see that they have a lot of, your connection makes sense, all right? It's, it's, the, the soul is firing on all, all cylinders, all right? Hidden energy, message from the universe, red with the five of pentacles, the seven of wands, yeah. Seeing, missed out, because let other, uh, other influences keep them back, right? They're not defensive towards it. They're spying themselves and they're seeing how They've been let down. That's all. We all will on many levels. You'll see it in societal energies. Things will start to make sense. You can already see it. Okay? You can already see it if you, if, if you watch the news and stuff like that. You can already see people changing their minds and flipping and realizing how they've been manipulated and all that kind of stuff. I mean, you got on one, on one side of the political party, you got people abandoning the party. They're running as independent. They're like, I'm out of here. You know, that kind of thing. You're already seeing it happening. That being said, the soulmate cycle is a direct reflection of societal energies. That's what's happening here. Somebody sees how they've let themselves down, how they've been manipulated, how they've let outside influences cause them to question too much, too much questioning. Seeds of doubt are very dangerous. It's devil energy on crack. You know, it really is. Uh, it's in business, we call it uh, poisoning the well. Right? What, that's what you do. You poison the well so that if you get things your way when you go into the board meeting. You've already secretly talked to people around and planted seeds of doubt so when you go in there, you're already on top. Right? That kind of thing. Well, it's sort of what's happened here. The DM side has gotten a lot of outside input. Either from well, how they've been raised, their core programming, or from friends around them and stuff like that. Like I said, it, ha like I said, it happens to all of us. What's the potential final outcome? Red with the Page of Swords, Six of Cups. Yep. Somebody, again, it's somebody showing up. This is your final outcome. It's your reading. Somebody from the past shows up. You have a soul connection that shows up. That's the final outcome. I believe it. Oh, I believe it. Because once they stop questioning, right? Even if it's a new soulmate, somebody holding on to feelings for you. Randomly at the bottom of the Witches is the Page of Cups. Even if it's a new soulmate, new love, somebody with feelings for you that's been, you know, oh, you don't want to go ask them out. Oh, you know, people around them saying things, them saying things to themselves, questioning too much. That's why they hold back. It's the opposite of me. I never question too much. I get a gist for something, I go for it. I say something. I tell people how I feel, you know. 
And if it works out good, it works out good. If it doesn't, it doesn't because I don't have any expectations for the outcome anyway. That makes you very powerful. There's going to be a whole lot of no expectations for outcomes that are coming in. And that's very nice. Let's clarify. I'm going to start with justice. I wouldn't normally. It's a very special reading. It's a very special energy. It really is. Justice. Why is it here? What's going on here? Justice. Why is it here? Tell me about it. It's crossed by the Three of Wands. That's what I thought. That's what I thought. Somebody here, it's just, somebody's just, it, it's a whole new energy. We've jumped a timeline. Someone is get, jumping off that cliff and going on that ship. Okay? It, it ties directly to this energy. Uh, what's on top? Ten Swords. Why is the Ten Swords here? The High Priestess. Yeah. But all the stuff that's been held back, all the stuff that they've been questioning and questioning and questioning is flowing and now it makes sense. It makes sense because it's on top of a Justice card as our base energy. Yeah, it makes sense. Um, there's no doubt that person's jumping off that cliff. There's no doubt. There's a lot of feelings there. There's no almost an urgency attached to it with the King of Cups fueling it, with the water coming in, the emotions coming in. Somebody here is very emotional about this as far as the energy is attached to you. Let's talk about that. Let's talk about the Five of Pentacles here. Yeah. Wow. Unreal. In fact, the Ten Swords tells me that they can't hold, hold back these things. It makes so much sense. You know, walks like a duck, quacks like a duck, it's a duck. I get it, right? And they, they understand the connection. They understand what they missed, what they missed out on. Some of them listen to other people. You know, we, we do that all the time. And other people, I tell you guys this all the time. You know, you got to be careful. I think everybody should learn psychology. If you don't know psychology or human nature, you fall prey to it. You know, because your friend, your best friend does not want you to get a better person than them and find that love of your life. Your best friend does not want you to get that great job most of the damn time. They, there's little, little, you can almost, the way we say micro expressions, there's micro things that they say that plant little seeds of doubt. I always pick up on it. It's, it always amazes me how people miss it. It's amazing the things that most people miss. It's one of my superpowers. I, I, I spot things that other people don't see and I spot patterns as well. Very good at patterns. That's another thing people need to get better at. And I think under this energy they will be. Why is the Five of Pentacles here? Tell me about it. It's crossed by the Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, they know what they missed out on. I mean, that's your energy attached to that. So you got one side that's sitting pretty. You thriving, growing, not chasing, right? Just growing your energy, very soul nurturing, very nice. And you got another side, that's the sad rose here, that, that, that blew this off. Why? Because they push things back and they listen to other people, all that kind of stuff. I mean, it, all of that and more, right? It's just a, it's April's energy, this new timeline, prevents us in a big way from questioning things too much, right? There's a lot of soul here. There's not a lot of devil energy to it. That, so the ego comes down, all of that comes down. What's on top? The star. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Why is the Five of Pentacles here? The star. It's a divine timing energy. Somebody wants to fix this. And they feel like under this energy, I believe they will. I believe they feel like they can. I believe the universe is providing an opportunity here. This energy is filled with opportunity this month. Filled with it. It's why I suggest you just flow with it. Some people don't like, oh, I didn't want to jump a timeline. I resent, blah, blah, blah. No, this is all for the greater good. It's, it's a terrific energy. It really is. Why is the star here? The chariot. Yeah, that's what I said. It, this card just backs up my energy read there. Yeah, they're charging in. Somebody here is charging, taking control of things and wanting to fix things. Why? Well, for every reason I've said so far, but also primarily because of this. They stepped outside themselves, thought they were a great horned owl, which is about three or four times the size of that, and then realized they were a little barn owl. I don't even have horns. Shit. <laughs> I'm not even one of the owls with horns. Come on. Give me the horns. Why is the page of swords here? Why is the page of swords here? I wouldn't mind coming back as a screech owl. I like little screech owls, and they got horns, screech owls. So 
they're like a little a little mini one all right all right here we go why is the uh Plus, they're the ones that make the scary sounds in the woods at night. It's crossed by the uh, Page Cups again. Come back. That was randomly at the bottom when I picked up that deck. Mm -hmm. Somebody feels small here. I got, a, I got pages. Who are they in the 3D because of this energy? A page. Who are you in this energy? A queen. Male or female. You're the queen of pentacles. They're a little page. Okay. I mean, I'll just keep it simple and phrase it that way. The environmental energy is definitely encouraging somebody to show up. We see that they do. These are red together. What's on top? The hangman. Again. Why is the page of swords here? The hangman. What did I say? Rewind. Somebody here is stepping outside. That's what we do in the hangman. We step outside ourselves to get perspective. Somebody's stepping outside themselves and, and I'll just home spin it. They realize they're fucking a little barn owl. You know, they, they feel small. They screwed up. And, but there's a quick fix here. This is fast energy. The energy is right. You go for it in this. No questioning. The energy is right. Divine timing. It means the energy is right for something to happen. There's no questioning. You just go. Just hop on the chariot and go. There's not a lot of questioning here. I'm not seeing that. I'm seeing someone very disappointed. I see that here with the uh, page of swords. Very disappointed as they step outside themselves. Why is the hangman here? Justice which leads us to justice over here. See, there it is. Someone here, again, wants to get happy. Very bad, when they step outside themselves, they see the truth, okay? When we do that all the time, it, it doesn't matter. It shouldn't take this kind of energy for people to step outside themselves and take a look around. That's all you gotta do is take a look around and make your own opinions. Don't let, don't let outside energies influence you. Control your space. Right? Like a Kung Fu master. A Kung Fu master controls their energetic space. All right? That's what you need to be. That's what we kind of become in this energy on some level. All right. We already clarified that. Let's talk to the universe about seven wands here. I think we might get some interesting answers here. Because this seven wands is somebody realizing how they've been, they've been held back. Oh, you know... But there's some sadness here as well when you when they and disappointment comes when they realize that they didn't have to be, you know. So let's see. What's going on with the seven of wands? All this applies to you as well. I mean, in the extended, I'll open by pulling on you. But all of this applies to you as well. You will spot things. Just when I say flow with the energy, I mean don't be rigid and just assume you got it all figured out. Oh, I'm not going to, yeah, there's nothing I need to look at, Steve. No, that's bullshit. Everybody's, yeah, I'll be looking at stuff about myself too. I'm a work in progress. You know, always striving for that temperance. That's me. I'll tell you. 20 years ago, I was a lot more of a hothead than I am now. I'll tell you that. I've mellowed quite a bit because I figured some things out. Why? Because I stepped outside myself and suffered through any disappointments with that. That's what you got to do. You, know, you might realize how some of the people around you have held you back. That's common. I'm telling you, it's common. My, my own parents did it with me and I, I started noticing it. You know, they would discourage. My parents on a high level were very selfish, you know. They didn't want us kids to be better than them, which is, which is wrong. That's not parenting. Parents should want their children to be better, right? That kind of thing. My parents were notorious for, for discouraging and things like that. And sometimes they weren't even subtle. <laughs> tell you what, they still discourage. You know, my mother to this day, still, you know, that, that spirit, you still doing that spiritual shit online? You know, that kind of thing. That's a dig. That's a... That's a backhanded kind of dig, is, is what that is. You know, yeah, I am. Why? I don't know. Why not? <laughs> People seem to like it. There you go. Seven of Wands, why is it here? I'm still shuffling. I'm running out of shit to tell you. All right, here we go. Nine of Pentacles. It's always disappointing not what well it's disappointing if you think you're a great horned owl and you look in a mirror and see you're a barn owl yeah but it's always disappointing when we find out when we thought we were free and we're not you know we thought we were we had independence and we don't how much outside influences 
have directed our course, if you will, right? It's like your car's navigation system having a mind of its own. What's on top? Three of Pentacles. Somebody here, the in, I'm just going to talk about the incoming energies. I'm not sure how that relates to you. I don't think the universe is talking about you here at all. Uh, the incoming energies here, somebody here realizes that they're living a life that someone else wanted for them. And that's come up and extended quite a bit. I believe that. You know, they're doing what, not what they want to do, right? They don't really, but it, there's an illusion of independence here in the environmental energy. But they're, they're doing what, moving in a direction that's been set for them or what's been programmed into them as they grew up, that kind of thing. Or, quite frankly, for a lot of people, they've just been manipulated into doing somebody, what somebody else wants, right? Uh, why is the Three of Pentacles here? Knight of Cups. Yeah. They didn't go their own way, all right? It's, a lot of this pertains to love. A lot of this is if you have someone attached to you who's in a relationship or they're married, that's what somebody else wanted. That's the, they married the image that was planted in their head, almost like hypnotized to do it, you know, that kind of a thing. Yeah, I get it. However, I will say this Knight of Cups is my lead-in card to the final outcome. So here they come. That backs up my read here. No doubt. Why is the Six of Cups here? Now, this is your final outcome. I flipped it for you. So what does this Six of Cups mean to my viewers is what I'm asking. Uh, I can tell you the energy is someone from the past. And the past can be just a soul connection, whether you've known them in this lifetime or not, showing up. And I think it's multiple energies. I'm drawn to the roots. Okay, the roots down there. Mm -hmm. All right. And this tree is the same tree that's on the emperor card. It's just smaller here. Mm, I believe it. Somebody not quite an emperor yet. Why is the uh, six of cups here? What does this six of cups mean to my viewers? I told you already. Rewind. I said this was, this was tied with this when the three of wands was crossing crossing here crossing crossing right either one crossing or crossing when this when the three of wands was crossing <laughs> i did it again crossing here i'll just keep i'll just stick with it when the three of wands was crossing here i said it was tied to the final outcome boom don't know why i'm your second favorite how did i do that i don't know it's just it, i just felt it that way three of wands and there's no there's no delay here, all right? There's no delay. It makes sense. Things are, make sense in this new energy we're going into, all right? And if you read my write-up, you know that this energy culminates. It completes with Saturn. A karmic resolve type energy is happening around the 19th of the month, I believe it is. Somewhere around that time frame in April. Saturn has semi-sex. Semi-sex tiles the North Node of Destiny. It's a karmic resolve and it all after we leave that energy right past the eclipse after we leave that we get an energy where there's a lot of clarity and we don't question things too much this guy is not questioning anything all right definitely jumping off that cliff going on that ship where you are what's on top the knight of pentacles yeah. somebody here who's been, some of you okay there's three energies here damn it i hate that okay so there's three energies here. One of these will resonate with each of you in some way, I'm sure. Okay? Could just be one thing I say. One energy is you have a specific person, okay, who's around you, who's been hanging around in your periphery. It's someone you know. It's someone you maybe work with. It could be a cousin in the right trailer park, whatever it is. They're holding on to a lot of feelings for you. They're going to come forward in this energy. Okay? Now, again, I can't predict free will, uh, so I'll say the energy is right for them to come forward in this energy. Now, the second energy that's here, somebody here is not going to come forward to you. You have, maybe it's a runner, okay, for example, and they're long gone. You're that person who watches me who says, oh, they're long gone, Steve. I just watch you because you're entertaining. Okay? Maybe sometimes. Okay, fine. Um, they're not going to come forward but they're going through all of this, okay? They're going through it. I mean, they are, I don't care if 25 fucking years have gone by, they're thinking about you. 
And don't come at me and go, I got you, they're dead. Ha, they died some time ago. Don't give a shit. That energy is still attached to you. These are eternal connections. That doesn't matter. Okay? They're going to be going through it. You'll probably, if, if that's the case, you'll have some interaction with them up there on the astral plane while you're sleeping. Pay attention. I'll tell all of you this before I talk about the third energy. I'll tell all of you this. Pay attention to your dreams from the month of April. Not the, th the imagery of the dream, but how it made you feel. Okay, this is one of those months where I'm going to tell you, I'm going to beg you to have a pen and paper next to your bed or something you can record your voice with to just write down how you feel the moment you woke up or wake up or woke up, whatever. Blah. The moment you wake up, write down how, what it, how you feel, especially if you've had a dream. Okay? All right. Very important. Now, the third energy that's attached to this is someone who it's probably a runner for a good number of you. It's probably the original runner that you're watching the readings for. Um, for some of you, that runner won't come in. For others of you, that runner is, I want to say, coming in but holding back quite a bit. They're going to make up an excuse to talk to you. Okay? Some sort of an emotional excuse because they're going in the water. In other words, they might tell you something sad or whatever. Something to get an emotion out of you. That's possible in this energy. All right? Okay. All right. An excuse to come talk to you, but it's an emotional excuse. Why is the Knight of Pentacles here? The Nine of Pentacles. It's also someone can recapture. Remember, the Nine of Pentacles was crossing here. Remember what I said here. It's why? Why do we have the potential within the energy for these runners and newer soulmates to come in because they want to regain some power in this energy. The first thing we want to do when we realize that we've been manipulated, right? We've been people, other people or things have, from our past have planted seeds of doubt and that's guided us to do things that someone else wants for us or whatever. The first thing we want to do when we realize that and we feel that disappointment is regain power. And how do we regain power? We do something that we want to do, right? It's just like the pre-shuffle showed us with the Ten of Cups and the Knight of Wands. That's why. That's the why. This Nine of Pentacles is red with justice. Justice is in the soul. The Three of Wands is crossed in, crossing justice in the soul. Three of Wands is crossing the final outcome. It ties. This whole reading, I mean, it's just welded together. I even did it strangely when I pulled this one first, but that happened for a reason. That's what my intuition said to do. It's what I did. So, that's your reading here for sure. Let's see what else the universe wants to tell you. Alright? It's a lot of psychology here. That's why I wrote the April write-up the way I did. I want you to understand it. I want you to understand that this month is all about seeing things clearly and not questioning things too much. If someone shows you who they are, believe them the first time. If it walks like a duck and quacks like a duck, it's a duck. Right? What did I say about those giant microphones that trick people? Right? You always got a giant microphone. You spent three grand on a microphone set up. Must be somebody important. Must be saying some, some important stuff. Right? You put an idiot in front of the most expensive microphone you want. They're still an idiot. Right? So if somebody needs something to puff themselves up, that tells you something, all right? That's stuff that I look for, right? That's stuff that I look for when I am reading people or looking at trying to gauge what kind of person I'm talking to or dealing with, right? What are they doing to puff themselves up? What are they doing that's ego-based and what are they doing that's soul-based, right? And I see if there's any balance there and then I take it from there and dig into whatever feelings I get off a person, but you don't have to worry about that. So, anyway. Mm. Here we go. Three cards and a crossing card from the bottom. What else you want to tell my viewers before I go pull some amazing wicked voodoo? I'm going to go in that hangman for sure. And I'm going to pull on you. I'll open by pulling on you. I imagine you're going to show up in the extended quite a bit. Oh, quite a bit for sure. We'll see what's going on here. I want to check out the soul as well. All right. We'll pull a pyramid and supercharge this reading and all that fun stuff. We'll do what we usually do. And then some. Seven Cups, Ten Wands, King of Cups, and the uh, Ten of Pentacles in the base energy crossing the Ten of Wands. Um, 
There is no confusion, okay? It, well, no, how do I phrase this? Okay, well, first of all, something's going to break in their life because of this energy. We're this, this, the Ten of Wands tends to the end, end, dead end that leads to, new, to a new beginning, right? We have a new beginning coming for everybody in their Ten of Pentacles. You might change your view on what you want. They're going to change their view on what they want, all that kind of stuff. Who you're going to support, who you're going to this, who you're going to, who you're going to listen to, whatever. All of that's bound to happen here. It's too much pressure to keep things the same. All right? It's too much pressure. Can't do it. Uh, it's just, it's, it's almost impossible. This is an extremely heavy card. Now, let's talk about these. Okay? This is options, right? Choices. This is also uh, questioning things, right? Make it uh, questioning feelings and things like that. The thing is, the way this energy reads, because we've had the King of Cups before, I believe it is fueling, there he is, fueling this Three of Wands, which was crossing the soul and the final outcome. Um, this is about no matter what they do, no matter what they question, which way they ask the question, whatever it is, all of these cups are filled with true, truthful feelings. And all of it flows your way. All of it flows your way. There's no doubt. It flows toward the soulmate connection. All right? Toward the soul cycle. It's amazing energy. All of these cups contain the same thing. I'm never drawn to that on this card. They all kind of look the same if you look at it. There's nothing poking out of them. But very rarely do I, do I read it that way. And I, I, I haven't. I don't think I ever have. I'm drawn to the fact that all the cups look the same. And that's what's, that's what's pulling me. And so it doesn't matter. All roads lead to the soulmate connection. And... There's, when there's no time to question it, there's no way to question it, there's disappointment here, and somebody wants to do something to regain control because they realize that, that they've been manipulated, and we all have on some level. We all, we all find that we all reach this moment at some point where we realize, well, maybe I've been held back by the energies around, around me, around you, around whatever. Um, once they realize it, there's, there's fast action that happens. This chariot is even faster than the Knight of Wands that was in the pre-shuffle. That's your reading. I hope it was helpful. I hope you take advantage of this energy in April. It's filled with opportunity. It's filled with it. If you're cynical and all of that, like, oh, I didn't want to, uh, here we go again, a timeline jump, what kind of crap is ahead of me? Don't be like that, okay? Welcome. Embrace the unknown. That's where the magic in life is. But I can tell you, you will, you will make leaps and bounds in your life in this energy. You'll, it's amazing how much questioning things too much holds people back and they don't take chances they don't try things this is a big deal fortune favors the brave energy all right you will succeed more than you'll fail in it all right there's a lot of soul there's not a lot of devil energy around that said that's your reading i hope it was helpful if you want the extended the link is in the description i want it i'm gonna go pull it right now uh if you like this reading please like share and subscribe Appreciate all the subscribers, everybody who shares, and everybody who watches. All right. Good luck.